I mean, they're down in Florida in a golf course doing golf. Why they should be in Albany doing their job. Yeah, right. But that's okay. They get paid anyway. Oh, well, that's right. We're paying them, aren't we? Yeah, we're paying them. Yeah, we're paying them, all right. I wonder if we could hold their check. Nah, they can't do that because then they would probably get overtime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they need overtime. Yeah. Or they'll give themselves a new raise. Listen, they've been working overtime. Working overtime to figure out how to screw us. Right. It's about time we got We're overtime somebody. how to do nothing. You know, actually, I like the fact that he's a big businessman. He knows how to play with the big boys. And he's willing to go in there and just just say what he feels and do what he feels. It's just, uh, just a good feeling to have somebody that finally seems to be on our side. Yeah, might have a backbone instead of say yes, yes, yes. Yeah, no more yes, man. Wouldn't that be a nice thing? Yeah. Wouldn't it be even nicer if Democrats and Republicans could learn to get along and just do what's right for the country instead of what's doing right for just them? Right? It'd be nice to see everybody pay an even share of taxes. Yeah, so, nice equal share. Yeah, we go for that. Equal share, and that's you know, a big plus. Got to pay tax. The next guy don't have to pay tax. I know, and it seems like every time you turn around, they're taxing you or something. What? Oh, the little guy gets taxed to death. You know, yeah. you got money, you don't get really taxed too hard. I mean, they do tax you, but they really don't see it like the, the you know, the blue collar worker. You know, that needs every nickel to pay their bills. Yeah, I mean, really, how much can they take out of our pocket before they start taking out of some of their own? Well, they don't want to take out of their own pocket. No. That's not the master plan. No. They'd rather, they'd rather take some more from us. Uh, I personally think they've taken enough. Me too. And you know what? And I'm mad as hell. And I'm going to stand behind Carol. There you go. That's what we'd like to hear. It's nice to have somebody come back to the voting situation after being gone for a while like yourself, too. Like I say, now what we really need to do is we need to inform the young people in this country that they really need to get out there and vote. Otherwise, they're just going to lose it. It'll be, it'll be oh, yeah. so far gone so fast. I mean, look at how many the same people in the, in the office all, all the time. There will be never a change. Well, look how far politics has gotten away from us since just me and you were kids, you know? Things used to be good. Gas used to be, what, a buck and a half a gallon. Maybe they need to get rid of some of that old dead wood. Nowadays, it seems like they just put the screws to us every chance they get, you know? Because it's, it's old people don't like change. And change, you got to change with the time or you're left behind. 